Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here. And up to now, we've been introduced to this important investigating question of how do you know something has energy? And in an effort to answer this question, we're gonna be looking at how scientists construct a scientific argument or how they go through argumentation. Whenever scientists are looking to understand the world around them, they start with a big question similar to ours, how do you know something has energy? And they begin looking at how they can start collecting evidence to help them support an answer to that question. And these questions can range in different ways around different things. And though ours deals with energy, the same process goes for any scientific question about the natural world. Now, as they go through these questions and as they begin looking for answers, scientists then gather information. And this information becomes evidence to not only support some sort of conclusion or claim, but also it is evidence that, well, this question has an answer in some way. And they do that using different pieces of technology. They use different machines. They use observation skills, some high tech, some low tech, all in an effort to draw a conclusion to that question. So whenever a scientific argument is created, it begins with a question similar to ours. How do you know something has energy? From there, we create a claim that proposes an answer to the question. It has evidence that supports that claim. And here's the important part, has a clear explanation or clearly explains how the evidence supports the claim. All these things create a scientific argument that allows us to understand the natural world. Another way to look at it is through this flow chart. And though this flow chart might seem like it has a start and finish, really it's constantly being redone and reused. So we start with that question about the natural world. In that case, how do we know something has energy? We propose a claim. This is how we know something has energy. And for us, we use that definition, okay? The definition um, that Dr. Lewis showed us earlier. Energy is the ability to make something move. So if this was our claim, how do we know something has energy? We would take that claim, energy is the ability to make something move, and we begin looking for evidence of this, something that we could use to support the idea and the claim. From here, this evidence would need to be explained through reasoning as to how this evidence connects with this claim. Evidence is usually simple, observable, easy to understand, and it's the reasoning that helps us to understand that connection. So when it comes to argumentation, this process is how we go about explaining the natural world. If you have questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, let's go ahead and look to continue through today's lesson.